Yo, what is up guys? It is me, Chespin Jr. And I know it's been a while since I've uploaded and I've I've honestly said this a billion times, but uh I've been just extremely busy with um working commissions and stuff like that. And then school's about to start soon, so that's gonna be a pain. But in order to um re not really reward you guys, but to give you guys a treat because you guys have been patient with me, I'm I decided to make a tutorial on something that a lot of people have been asking me to do a tutorial on is that is on text. I'm not the greatest, but um, I really do like how my logos look, at least some of them. So I'm going to show you guys a quick technique. Uh, this is not going to be a long video because I'm trying to make it uh, fast and to the point. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in Chespin Junior 98. You know what? Let's just type in Chespin Junior 98. And we're going to change the font. We're going to put, um, where's Gotham Black? There we go. Gotham Black looks dope. And uh, here, hold up. Let me modify the settings because I had it on a really bad setting. So your settings should not be modified at all. Mine are just like this because I modify them for a thumbnail. But um, we're going to make uh, the text. I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to make the make the words closer to each other so to fill in the gaps. In order to do that, you go to your character panel. And if you don't know how to get that, you just go to window, press character. Now we're gonna reduce it so the words are closer. That's a good technique. Don't uh, don't do this. Like something that I I would highly recommend you guys doing or like avoid doing is if you want to make the text closer. What you, people usually do is they just do this. They just do this, and this looks this does not look good at all. Like honestly, I don't I don't I never uh, like compress your text or something like that. But we're gonna have it like this, and. Um, if you want, you can do more stuff with it, but uh, I'm just going to leave it like that. Also, note that this way you will not be able to edit the text, so make sure that this is like a logo or something. Don't make it like something like for a thumbnail or like a question of the day that you might want to change it. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert it to a shape. Now what that's going to allow us to do is going to allow us to have a lot of all these anchor points on the text, which is pretty dope. And um, we're going to align this and we're gonna make the stroke black not black but we're gonna instead of having the stroke inside we're gonna have it outside and we're gonna change the color to like a dark blue like maybe something like this like make it like make this color not black but really close to black if you want so we're going to the view black and we're gonna be really close to the black but not necessarily black because you guys will see why in just a second so now that we have this, as you guys can see, you can barely see it, so just increase the size of your stroke to like 7 or 8, you know, I kind of like 8. So we're going to do that, and we're going to give um, the text some sort of effects. So we're going to go to Gradient and have uh, something like a like light blue to darker blue sort of feel, I don't know. More like a, is it like almost a greenish, bluish? I don't know. It's weird, but I really like how like these two colors complement each other. I really like. Uh, I mean, we could also do green, but I mean, the stroke is already blue, and if we do green, blue, and all that stuff, it's not gonna look good. So we're just gonna lower that, make it to negative 90, so it's parallel, and we're gonna. There you go. So this looks pretty good. Not gonna lie, and um, you can obviously modify the colors and stuff, but. We knew that. So now what you're gonna do is uh, you can either um, duplicate the layer by right-clicking and go to go to duplicate layer. But I just like to use a shortcut and just press Control J. Now we're gonna rasterize this. And I'm gonna make it completely black. But I like to do this because it just saves time. So now that we have this, we're actually gonna have it black. So then we're gonna move it underneath the layer of the text. And then with your um, mouse, click on the corner and then press shift. Because if you don't press shift, this is what happens if you don't press shift. I'm going to move it up. If you don't press shift, it's going to look all distorted and stuff. And But if you press shift, you will, it won't modify it at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to press shift, make it a little bit smaller, and then point it downwards a little bit. There we go. Now you guys can see. You can see what I'm trying to get here. So now the easiest way to fix this, like you see how it's like, oh, it's got a bunch of gaps. What you can just do is you can just grab your pen tool and make sure you make a layer above the background. And you can just click the edges of each, like right here, and click this edge and just like 
go all the way up and stuff so we're gonna go straight from here and we're gonna go all the way over here and we're gonna go here we're gonna uh, grab this corner and we're gonna grab this corner and this one right here we're gonna connect uh, this right here and pretty much you can just do modify a little bit as you want I'm just gonna make it quick here because I don't really need all this type of stuff honestly but if you guys want to you guys can do whatever you want but I'm just gonna have this just to make it simple and easy and just make sure you close the uh, pen tool because if you don't close it it's uh, not gonna look as good so now from here you basically set I mean you can just do some sort of like on the text you um, make a new layer and then you right click it you make a create clipping mask and then what you can do is just with a rectangle tool or with the pen tool you can just go to white and then just make a a straight line so it's like a white effect on the top you can either go to overlay or just simply keep it white but I just I just think this looks pretty dope and you can just have it like that and that honestly looks pretty pretty dope and then what you can just do just to end it off just to end it off you can just group everything by highlighting everything okay let's not highlight the background I'm gonna highlight everything and this is just like preferences as you want but you can just outer glow this thing just go to overlay or something and just give like a sort of presentation but this is pretty much the, the tutorial thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to suggest a tutorial for next time because I really need your guys suggestions of what you guys want to see but this is a really fast tutorial so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time peace